You genuinely ask me, how often should I work out? Now, probably the best answer to this is the same answer I normally give, which is kind of vague and sitting on the fence, uh, which is, it, it kind of depends. Um, but if I go into the weeds a bit, I'll explain what it depends on. So the first thing I should mention is that you don't actually have to work out. There are lots of very healthy people who don't exercise. They don't go to the gym, they don't do Zumba, they don't do any structured activity at all, but they're very healthy, they're living to a good age, they're free from most disease risks, they, they eat reasonably well, they, they enjoy life. Uh, there's lots of people like that, uh, so you don't have to work out. And the things that they're doing to be healthy are probably the things you should be considering, uh, as well as you know how often a week you should be getting to the gym. So things like being very active, doing lots of walking, uh, eating a good healthy diet, and enjoying life. Uh, you know, controlling your stresses and that kind of thing. So, with that out of the way, the next answer to it depends would be as often as you can. Uh, what reasonably fits into your life? You know, can you get to the gym three times a week? Can you get to the gym twice a week, once a week? What can you reasonably fit in with a job, with family commitments, with, with all that you've got going on? You know, how often, and if it means getting up at four o'clock to go to the gym, uh, and you know you, you work until late it's probably not right for you to be doing that it's going to add more stress to your life so then let's go into how many times a week so if you can train once a week then that's probably better than not training at all a week you know, it, prefixing that with what I said earlier about uh, being active and eating well and, and all the other good stuff and the reason for that is if you can get some exercise in, that's going to be good for your muscles, it's going to be good for your heart. All the benefits of exercise and stress reduction, try and get as much of that as you can in there. And if you are training just once a week, it's got to be an all over body session. You know, if you're training once a week, you're probably not just going to do chest and arms. Uh, so try and hit everything in one session. Uh, if you can train twice a week, then that's obviously better than once a week. Uh, there again, uh, twice a week, it's probably still not going to be enough exercise for massive benefits in either muscle gain or fat reduction, but it's still good. Uh, it, yeah, certainly it's better than not doing anything, uh, and that can only be a good thing. Three times a week is probably optimal for most people. If you've, if you've got a busy life, if you've uh, got a, you know, a regular nine to five, or you just have a, you know, a normal job where you're working regular hours, um, then three times a week is a reasonable commitment and you should see really good results uh, training three times a week. You could certainly uh, put on a reasonable amount of muscle. Uh, I would probably still do total body sessions training three times a week. Uh, you could, at three, potentially do a split, but I wouldn't do it in every training cycle. So you might have a month where, you know, on one session you do upper body or another body session you do lower body or you might have a session where you uh, do uh, chest uh, and arms uh, and another session where you do back or legs or however you want to structure it. Uh, but most of the time I'd say three times a week training you, you probably can do a total body sessions. Uh, but you've at least got the opportunities to do splits. And moving on from there I would say anything sort of three plus, four times a week, five times a week. Now you're getting into more sort of professional athlete territory uh, or someone who's really determined to either burn a lot of calories, put on a lot of muscle, or has you know, got that next level uh, commitment and time. Uh, it's, it's a big ask, not everyone has to do it. There's no reason why you can't be in really good shape training three times a week or even twice a week, potentially, but uh, certainly three. Uh, so yeah, four plus. That's the kind of territory you're into, sort of really working towards professionally uh, achieving some kind of outcome. So I hope that answers the question, um, and I hope I've not dived on too much as I normally do.
Uh, but if you have any more questions like that, please ask it in the comments below and I'll try and get around to it. Thanks.